hi guys welcome to my channel hope you are doing well in the last video of this G Suite playlist I have explained to you that how you can sign up for G Suite for education and if you have watched that video you have successfully verified your domain name and you have added the MS records in your C panel or whatever panel you are using to manage your website so this video is the next step and part number two that after creating your account you have to add the users in your G Suite so in this video I'm going to show you that how you can add single user and multiple user in your G Suite so let's start this video without wasting any time and if you are new here welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe so let's start this video guys So guys, in order to uh, add single user and multiple user, so you have to sign in through your G Suite admin account. But if you are trying to sign in through your regular Gmail account, so it is not going to happen. So all you can do is that uh, you can open a private window. So I'm going to click on incognito window here. And here you have to type in the URL for admin G Suite account. So I'm writing HTTP colon forward slash forward slash admin dot google so this is the url for opening your g suit for education or g suit account so this is the url so click on admin dot google dot com so click on sign in and here you have to type in your id and password of your g suit admin account so regular gmail is not going to work so this is a tip number one so here you have to type in your email id so i'm going to type in my email id here okay so after typing in email and id so you have to type your password so i'm right in putting my password here so after si signing through your id and password so this is the panel for g suit admin so as you can see here google admin and uh, there are so many panels here like users groups organizational units building and resources devices app security and so on so in the upcoming videos i will be talking more about these panels here how they are going to help you to maintain and use your g suit accounts so in this video i'm going to share with you that how you can add single user and multiple users so either if you haven't set up your organizational units so here you can see organizational units so you have to add some organizational units like your staff like your like if you are working in a college or a school you must have some departments like teaching department non-teaching and if you're working in a organization like there will be HR department and sales marketing and so on <clears throat> So to add particular user in particular department, you have to set up a organizational unit. So like your company, for example, your company is ABC and under ABC company, there are marketing department, sales department and HR department and accounts department. So you have to uh, add organizational unit and under these organizational unit, you can add your users. So it is if you are if your organization is a pretty big then you have to add these organizational unit so here for this demonstration i'm adding a organizational unit so click on plus here so this is a big yellow round button here so click on it and it will ask you to name your organization so name of the organization for this uh, demonstration i'm writing demo staff so this will be the name of my organization and here at the bottom you can see here parent organizational unit so if you have multiple organization parents then you can add here clicking on this uh, pencil here so pencil kind of thing here to add it so description if you want to add some description you can add here so this is the name of our staff so this is the child organization and this is the parent organization here so click on create and it will add a organizational unit under your main parent staff so here you can see demo staff now after adding the demo staff or organizational unit you have to click on this three lines here and click on home and here you have to click on the users panel here so click on users 
and it will open up all the organizational units and you can also select from the selected organization unit so here it is demo staff as you can see and it is also list out all the users that i have already added in my g suite account so i'm going to show you that how you can add single user and multiple user in a particular organizational unit so here uh, i'm clicking on this demo staff here so currently there are no users in my demo staff organizational unit so i'm going to click on add new user so this is for adding a single user so clicking on cancel here so to add single user you have to click here add new user so it will open up this dialog box here and if you click on this add photo button it will add a photo and first name so first name let me add a first name like demo and last name if the person does not have any last name you can put a dot so so full stop like of thing and i'm writing demo smith so here primary email is demo123 at the rate your domain name and here again organizational unit is demo staff either you can also add it here from here and phone number secondary email automatically generate password or you have to type in the password so your password must have eight characters in it so i'm writing at the rate blah 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 so i'm writing the password here so any password must be a strong password so click on add user and it will add a single user so here this uh, window here it is showing you the email id and the password so you can copy the password and you can send it to or email to this particular user or you have more actions like you can email login info print login info and add to the groups or add it to user so i'm clicking on done here so i don't want to send the email uh, or i don't want to share these uh, login infos to someone so if it doesn't appear here just refresh or reload your admin page and it is going to appear here in your demo staff so let me click on selected organizations from here so clicking on demo staff and here it is guys you can see demo smith so we have just added this account by single user now let's learn how you can add multiple users so to add multiple users you have to come here bulk update user click on it and it will open this kind of window here so here you can see download user info in csv file so this this button is going to download all the users that you have already have along with their ids and passwords so you can click on it and it will download that but if you haven't add any user uh, it is not going to add something here and the second link here you can see download blank csv template so this is the csv that i'm going to download so click on download and some settings that you can see here some uh, format given by google here so first name last name email address password and organizational unit path so you can learn for more of these formats click on view formats and it is going to open all these things of required columns that how you can add and you can read it out and you can learn more things about here so i'm going to close this here but you can come here and uh, learn about how you can set up your org path but i'm also going to share with you that how you can upload multiple users so click on this download blank csv file so i'm going to click on it because later on we are going to upload here in the attached csv file so click on download blank csv template and it is going to download this csv template in your downloads so it is going to download here so it is downloaded here so i have already downloaded some user csv file that is why it is going to show it is showing me one here so here it is the csv file guys so here you have to add all the users you have in your organization so some column heads here you can see are required so you have to fill it out so you cannot leave it blank so only one two three four and five are required and rest the column heads are not compulsory so you can leave it or you can fill it according to your needs so first name so i'm writing here so jimmy last name is smith email address so you have to type in the email address so i'm writing jimmy demo at the rate and your domain name 
so you have to always type in your domain name so password must be of minimum eight characters so i'm writing so password here so it must be having capital letters and small letters so you have to make sure that you have password of a strong set okay so this is not allowed here so let me write some other password here combinations of okay so something similar to this one you can uh, set the password so the users can reset their own so i'm going to show you that also so org unit path so organizational unit path so if you haven't set up any organizational unit you can click on slash so just put a slash here so by clicking on the formula bar or you can also if you want to be more specific you can write the name of your organizational unit so that was demo staff so that is all guys so how you can add multiple users so for multiple users just keep on adding all the users so i'm writing uh, adam so adam adam smith so adam adam at the rate so your domain name so i'm going to write and okay so that was it and here same for this one so this is how you can create your as many as users in your csv file so i'm going to click on save as so clicking on save as and here it is users one and click on save and click on yes and again click on yes and now close it so i'm going to again save it this file here so save and yes okay so now it is over so our csv file is users one so i'm going to click here attach csv file and it is in download so this is the file users one so click on open now we have successfully attached our csv file click on upload and it is going to upload both the users that we have added in voice in our csv file and if any error occur it will going to show you here so bulk upload user info is completed so we have successfully uploaded two users here in our demo stuff so let me refresh my page here and they are going to show here in my demo staff so here it is demo staff here and here you can see adam smith and jimmy smith so these are the user that we have added using the bulk update so that is all for this video guys i hope that uh, i have explained everything for adding single user and multiple user so thanks a lot for watching this video see you soon guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye